In this video, we will see the table announcement done on ABAP on HANA. Apart from row store, column store, which I have already shown you in my row store and column store video, there is some other table announcement done in ABAP on HANA. We will see some of them one by one. Let's get started. So, first we talk about what is the announcement done to deactivate the secondary indexes. So, if you are not aware about the indexes, whenever we create a table, we have to give some primary index. In that primary index, we will mention some of the fields based on that, no, based on those fields, there is the distinct values available on the database always in the sorted form. So, we can access data faster because the we are using the primary index. But some of the time what happened, we have to access the table data based on some other fields frequently in the different different places. So for that, we have to create the secondary indexes as well. For creating the secondary index, whenever we create the secondary index, so what in the database done, the, on the based on those fields, there will be sorted data will be available, which will be linked to, linked to the main table. So index means sorted data based on those fields. So, which will be linked to the main table. So, whenever we search or write select statement on the table based on those fields, so data is already available in sorted form. So, we can easily do the binary search and get the data faster. That is the most important thing. But on the HANA database, since it is a columnar store, second thing, we have already data in the form of the compressed and already data is sorted. So that is the reason we no need the secondary indexes. So that is the reason you can see this is the classical database where we can see when we create when SAP create the second indexes, then you can see they, they, they are creating for all the database that set second indexes. But if you are using HANA or you if you are using HANA along with some other database, there will be some option like this where you can see the the indexes like this. The second option is to just for selected database system and we are excluding the HANA database. We are excluding the HANA database because we don't want the secondary indexes on the HANA database because our data access already faster in the HANA database. Second table announcement is the de-pooling and de-clustering. If you don't know about the pool table and cluster table, the pool table is the set of tables which will stored in database together. We can see at the application layer there is a different different table, but in the database it will be stored in the one table itself. So pool table is a collection of small small tables. So suppose we are having one pool table A which is having key field A, B and data is C. Same way we are having another table field table pool table tape b which is having key field d and the data field e and f so how it will be stored those two table if those are the pool table it will be combined and stored in the one database how it will be stored there we will be having another table where we will be having the table name the key fields one another column and what is the data length and the what is the variable data means what is the data so like that it will be stored. So since the key fields is A, B, so it will be stored A, B and data is stored like all the data C. Like that we have, we can have multiple data and what is the data length we can store here. Same way for table B, what is the key field based on this key field, what is the data like that we are storing the data in the table pool, multiple ta table data at the one place. In same way, the cluster table also is stored logically related table but larger table which is having some key field common so you can see the cluster table a which are having the key field a b and in cluster table b we are having the key field a b as well but they have they, they are having the another key field as well so how it will be stored in the database it will be stored together but these tables the difference in pooled and cluster table pool table are small small table but cluster table are bigger table the bigger table which will be stored with the key field, page number and variable data and data in the same way. But we have another thing here, page number as well, where if we are having with this key field, we are having more data, then it will be stored in another line with the increment of the 
page number like that we can we can store the data in the database but the dis disadvantage of storing the data because this data is combination of the bigger table and whenever we are hitting the cluster table like the basic table one of the example it will take too much time so basic table cd pose cd hdr these all are the tables are the cluster table we should not hit this table until and unless it will require very much till that time we should not hit but in the database now the database got changed now we are having our abap on hana database so hana database is more powerful so we don't have pooled and cluster table at all all the pool table and cluster table converted into the converted into transparent table you can see the basic table example i am giving if you see uh, in the other database any other database apart from the hana database we have this basic table is a cluster table of the cluster is rfblb basic table is a cluster table but if you go in hana database it is a transparent table so all the table converted into the transparent table so you if you have any custom pool or cluster custom pool or cluster table you have to convert in the, into the transparent table if you are working with the hana database so and generally we will don't create the pool and cluster table but if we are having then we have the option to we can go to menu bar and we can decluster those table or de pool those table that's a very important thing in sap abap on hana the third table announcement empty aggregate tables so previously or if we are not working on hana database that time what we were doing we when we have to calculate some of data it is taking too much time because the table data is too much and too large so what we will what we used to do we calculate those things and store in another table and whenever we require we just get the data from those table like that we were doing previously so suppose uh, for example in uh, mm we have the material related table table like the uh, document document re related table mkpf and M msec table material document related tables and we have master data related table marc mard and mscha and we are having the aggregated amount in we are having stock quantities aggregated actual stock quantity we, we are having in mssa table but this table is not available on the hana database why it is not available because now we can do those calculation on the hana database quickly because irrespective of there is a huge number of data because it's a hana database so that is the reason we don't have those tables on the hana database we no need to do the calculation and store the data what is the disadvantage we are having the same kind of data multiple data print, footprint in different different table so that is the reason i am saying empty aggregated table whatever the tables which we are using for after the aggregation and we are putting the, those data and those called the aggregated table those tables will be not available or those table will be empty we will be not using now and onwards those tables and we instead of doing instead of uh, what we have to do we have to do all the things on fly we have to hit those tables and do the aggregation and get the data from those table where which the data was aggregated from previously like that we want to one more important thing we can see uh, we are having we don't have the mkpf mseg those tables in the database at all now we can see at the application layer these are the tables are available but if you go in the database then there will be no table like this instead of those table we are having one single table mad doc or in the accounting also we are having another table i am talking as of now mm stuff so mad doc is a one of the table where we are storing this all the data this different different data thing together in the mad doc so so now you might think if i am all if these tables are not available in database and i am hitting those i am getting the data but still i am how i am getting the data is still because my already lot of code is written on mkpf and msec so those code still work how it will work you can see this table so these are the database table sap created the something called the proxy object or replacement object we can see in the data dictionary in, from the newer version replacement object which is nothing 
CDS views. Those all are the CDS views which which hitting the original table where the data needs to get. So for example, for MKPF and MSET table, we are having now new table mad doc table. So for MKPF, we, we are having this CDS view, NSDM, DDL, MKPF. In this CDS view, we are getting the data. This is the replacement object of this MKPF and we are getting the data in this CDS from the mad doc table. Let me show you in the system. So you can see the MKPF table in the Eclipse. Let me open this table with SAP GUI. Open with SAP GUI. You can still see those MKPF or uh, another MSEC table in the here header material header did, header material document and header line item material. You still see in the in in the SE eleven. But if you go menu bar and if you go to extra, there is something called uh, search replacement object. So we in the HANA we are having for this table some of the replacement object. I want to see what is the replacement object for MKPF. You have to double click on this and there is a replacement object called NSDM E underscore MKPF. Let me copy this one and search for this object in the Eclipse, Control shift A, Control V, then there is something called one CDS view will av available. If I go and open this CDS view and see how the CDS view look like, so you can see in this CDS view, we are getting the, we are selecting the data from material doc table. So our table is now one only for the MKPF, MSEC or material related master data, all the table combined and there is a one table itself, mad doc. But still, when we are hitting the data with MSEC or MKPF, we are writing the queries on that table that will work because those table indirectly, we have the replacement object. For example, in the MKPF case, we are having NSDM E underscore MKPF like that. We are having for the MSEC as well. So in inside this CDS use, we are hitting those uh, this main table, mad doc and we are getting the data and we are putting those data back to the user. So that is the reason still our select queries are working. I hope you learned something new from this video. Before going to next video, please like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you and happy learning.